All right, good morning. It's like 7 a.m. here. Gotta go to work in a couple hours here. Thought I was gonna make a quick video. Reason, I, it's been a while since I made a video because I, I've been working so much. Like, literally, get into the shop, work until like 7 a.m., 6, 7 a.m., leaving the shop, getting home, sleep like three hours, go, go back to the shop, same thing, till 6, 7 a.m. in the morning. It's, it was a lot, exhausting. We got the cars we're working on out of the shop. Now hopefully we can get back to like a normal schedule or at least a better schedule. So we're trying to get to the shop early by like 9 a.m. You know, and then call it quits about 6, 6 p.m.-ish. Probably won't leave the shop at 6 p.m. because traffic, it just wouldn't make sense. So, but 6 p.m., work-related stuff is done. We can work on our own stuff, hang out at the shop, whatever. Just do whatever you want. Um, main thing is we gotta get back on better hours because those hours are really killing us. We were like super time crunched on a charger that we wrapped, a uh, Challenger that we wrapped, and a Tesla. And the Tesla, fire. It was a Model 3, first time I've seen a Model 3. And it's like some futuristic, insanely cool thing. It, you, it farts. You can make the car fart, it's pretty cool. So anyways, let's jump into the point of this video. My truck broke again. It's just is what it is, man. Gotta pay to play when, when you're riding with a 6.0. It is what it is. So basically, my oil cooler went out. I changed it myself. I didn't film anything because it took three days because I was working on it when I could since I've been at the shop a lot. And a lot of the work was at night too, which is, you know, that's just how I roll. It happens to me nighttime when I'm, when I'm working on the truck. Um, the reason I think my oil cooler went out is because my coolant started getting like rusty and I'm pretty sure that clogged the oil cooler so my temps were getting pretty high. Pretty much Ford like calls it quits at a 25 degree delta between like your coolant temperature and your oil temperature. Mine was hitting 35 which isn't terrible but it's definitely time for a new oil cooler. I actually called Sinister Diesel because I had had a brand new oil cooler. They sent me back one for free along with some intake gaskets for free so shout out to them installed that sucker by myself which was a ton of work but I got it done oil temps and coolant temps are really good now along with that I also installed a coolant filtration system and a new thermostat which I'll show you in a second did a whole coolant flush got some new coolant in there add a little more oil in there since we did the the oil cooler change so let me pop the hood and show you what we got going on <sighs> Here we go. So if I hop on my big ass wheels right here, oh, we can see what's going on. Notice the brand new coolant filtration system here. Basically, I'll show you how that works in a sec. So the oil cooler, which is what I actually actually replaced, is way down here. This is the coolant filter. Um, well, this is the cab of the filters in here. Follow that straight down. Coolant, oil coolers in there. Basically, it's a big like puddle of oil and then has coolant that flows through it. And there's like little tiny like gaps, almost like a radiator gap. And those can get clogged very easily if your coolant is unfiltered or contaminated, which mine was. So I'll show you my old degas bottle in a second, but pretty much my old degas bottle, you open this up, look inside, orange everywhere, rust everywhere. The coolant was orange. So right now you can see those little orange particles. Those are rust particles, the leftover, I guess, from before. But, good part about that is now I have this coolant filter. Basically, it's a filter, taps into this line, and it taps into a line back here. And all the coolant gets run through that filter. So all of these drops of, like, specks of rust will go through that filter and get caught before it goes to the oil cooler, hopefully stopping it from getting clogged. And then if you follow this rubber tube down, whoop, it's tight down there, that right there is the thermostat, which is also brand new, and I replaced that. So what I didn't know, oh my god, I'm high up right now. What I didn't know when I was changing the thermostat and all this stuff is when you do anything that drains coolant, especially like the thermostat, or even you drain all the coolant, which is what I did, you have to bleed the coolant system. I, I was unaware of that. Now I know. Um, so when I put everything back together, I had two issues. One, coolant was pouring out of my degas, like, like doodling out of my degas bottle. So something was obviously an issue there. And second, my, my truck sounded weird. Like, 
the turbo wasn't loud. It was very muffled and it didn't like, when I let off the throttle, usually it goes like, and like, it takes a long time to spool down. It was not doing that. It was just cutting off quick. I didn't know what was happening. Pretty much solved that really quick. Got in here, and I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this. Oh, oh, no. Not gonna be able to see this well, but there's an up pipe there. You see those two pipes go into one, and that goes into the turbo with a V-band clamp. And you, I put the V-band clamp on there and tighten it down, but the pipe has to be perfectly aligned before that V-band clamp goes on, and it won't pull it into to like alignment. Which I thought from previous experiences that if you can get the V-band clamp on, it'll pull it all into alignment. So I was mistaken on that. Um, I had to use a, lot, a pry bar and you know, like it was actually a pain in the ass to get that pipe aligned, but they're known for being like a pain in the ass to get aligned. Once I got aligned, put the V-band clamp back on, turbo sounded good, truck sounded just as it should. Um, as for the coolant, literally doodling out of my degas bottle, that was a matter of bleeding the coolant system. Once I bled it, it's all good to go. But, now you're not gonna be able to tell because I cleaned it off, but I am still getting some leakage from my degas bottle, which unfortunately probably means heads again. Um, but I just got them fixed. That's a whole nother story. Let me close the hood for now. So that's a whole nother story. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, it's not bad enough to worry about it right now. I'm just gonna leave it for now. Um, anyways, the, the truck's fine now. The main worry for me was the oil cooler. That's fixed now. Oil temps are good. It's good to go. Now here's my old degas bottle. I replaced it with a brand new one. Yeah. You can see that looks actually terrible you literally like look at that oh my god that's terrible that's pretty much what my coolant would sit in before just straight rust um so this is trash this is my old intake gaskets like i said i got new ones for free which is really awesome this is my old thermostat you can better see the rust here just how crazy rusted my coolant was and the o-ring is just shot i mean Terrible, um, but fixed all that, no problem. I feel like that's just something that you gotta deal with when you got a 6.0, you know? If you want that beautiful, gorgeous sound that these 6.0s have, you gotta deal with the maintenance and the repairs. Uh, it doesn't bother me much. I, I like learning how to work on my truck. Uh, I like doing it myself, even though sometimes it's a pain in the ass, but I can say that I've done everything on my truck. So I'm pretty hyped on that. I lifted it myself, I did the oil cooler myself. I didn't do the head gaskets myself, but that's like, I mean, who knows, maybe I will in the future now, but um, other than that, I mean, we're good to go. I still have to install the glow plugs and fix the AC. That will be uh, some of the next few videos coming up. Actually, next video is gonna be me cleaning this freaking wheel because this wheel's dirty. Ugh, I can't stand it. Look at it, like, this is like hard, like, like hard rusted metal all over this wheel and like the other ones are fine it's just this one's like black um so that's got to get fixed Poli i think i'm gonna get them polished or i might do it myself we'll see how difficult this is but polish them and then ceramic coat them so i don't have to really worry about it i want to throw a light coat of wax on the truck even though the paint's not perfect but when i work at the shop you know the road we're on you leave the truck outside for any car you leave outside for a whole day and then gets just like layered in dust so I want like a nice little coat of wax on here to make it make it easier to wash and definitely ceramic coat the wheels I want to keep those looking fresh Actually, let me let me give you a quick update on how the truck sits right now because the rear has lowered quite a bit um, I feel like the rear leaf springs have settled enough to where it's got like a lot more lean on it and I think it just looks badass. So I don't know how well this will come out on video, but the rear is probably sitting a solid two to three inches lower in the back. Um, I personally really like it. I think it looks sick as hell. Oh, sun's glaring, but you could still see it. Everything's holding up really well. I don't remember if I showed the track bar, um, the track bar modification that I did. Pretty much flipped the ball joint right here. Um, usually the ball joint goes down, flipped it to go up. Now my track bar and my drag link are perfectly parallel, which is exactly what you want. You want them to be as close to parallel as perfect. And you, when I look from the front, you literally can't even tell there's two bars there. 
That's how parallel it is. That's improved the handling tenfold. Like, it's really, really just great. The other issue I was having was this bolt up here for the pitman arm it was getting loose. So the pitman arm had play, and that transferred to play in my steering wheel, which is no big deal. I just got to tighten it. Um, I did, and it's a lot better now. I feel like it's loosening up a little bit, so I got to go get in there and tighten it one more time. But it's a pain in the ass because this whole piece right here has to come off. Track bar's got to come off, and then the track bar doesn't go back in how at the length it's at. So I have to shorten this and then realign the whole truck. It's just kind of a pain, but it is what it is, you know? I mean, I'm sorry I haven't been making videos. I really, really want to, but I just work so much now. Um, definitely got to put aside some time to make some videos, though. Also, plans for the future. Let me, let me give you a rundown real quick. I got my truck looking baller right now. Don't think I'm stopping there. I got some ideas for a second car. Now, here's where I need your guys' help. I'm so torn on what car to build. Now, really what I want to build, I'll tell you straight up, I want a 991 GT3, slam it to the ground, but like low track fit me, and just be going ham with that. But fortunately, those cars cost a ton of money, which I don't have. It just came to my room real quick because the other option is I have two options. One, I'm thinking I really want to build something that's like insanely clean, like perfect paint, like bagged, perfect fitment type of thing. And like just a car that's like, like really, really, really clean. Then there's another option, which is probably the route I'm going to go with. I'm thinking something like this. This is Hertz. Euro Stallion. It was a car when he went to, to Poland. They built for him so he can drift. And it's just like a E36, some dope wheels, dope body kit, cage, some fake seats. Like, dude, it's just like, it's like a pimp car, man. There's nothing else to it. Oh, uh -huh. hi, hi, dog. Hey, puppy. You want me to build an E36? So that's the other option, buy like a, a cheap, cheap, cheap E36, go, go in on it, you know? There's tons of options, but that's what I'm looking into now. Truck's almost done. Time, it's time to start looking to the future. So yeah, a little update for you guys. Not much to it. So yeah, the vids now are going to be really hard to keep making them at a consistent rate. But I'm going to definitely try to get videos out as soon as I can. You guys are loving the truck stuff. I had a bunch of people tell me the truck's not the move, blah, blah, blah. My, my lifted truck video got over 100,000 views in a week. So obviously you guys like the truck stuff. All the other truck stuff has been doing really, really well, especially for not having been doing YouTube for like eight months. Um, this has been my best month yet. I've gained over 3,500 subs. We hit 25K subscribers total, which is amazing. Thank you guys so much. Um, keeping up with the truck stuff. I'm gonna build a dank ass car and we're just gonna keep going, man. I'm hyped. I'm gonna close this video out. I'm gonna try to get another video out as soon as I possibly can, but I'm working on it. You know, I, I just, work with me here, you know? On that note, have a great day. I just made a video before 8 a.m. in the morning, and I gotta go to work, baby. BBS. Why they wanna be me? It's not what it seems. Running to the bank, putting wet on my Achilles. We been thumbing blue faces like they Washington's. On a run. From MIA up to Washington.